tumultuous start to day one of the Democratic National Convention calls for unity tonight as speakers rallied the crowd to support Hillary Clinton. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer live tonight in Philadelphia. Marsha. Well, because of the email controversy, Bernie Sanders got the best speaking slot tonight. He went last and he brought down the House. We need leadership which brings our people together and makes us stronger, not leadership which insults Latinos and Mexicans, insults Muslims and women, African Americans and veterans, and seeks to divide us up. Bernie Sanders played the good soldier, going after Republican Donald Trump and trying to unify the party behind Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton will make an outstanding president, and I am proud to stand with her tonight. But Bernie's 1,900 delegates were clearly worked up, furious about the WikiLeaks email scandal that revealed a plot by the DNC to rig the election for Hillary Clinton and sabotage Bernie's campaign. DNC Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz was forced to resign, not even allowed to gavel in the convention. Every mention of Hillary drew cheers from her supporters, booze from Sanders supporters. Their chants at times seemed like angry roars reverberating around the arena. Bernie issued a plea to his supporters not to protest as, quote, a personal courtesy to me. Mayor Bill de Blasio told me Bernie delegates should realize they scored numerous victories here. You've made the Democratic Party platform the most progressive that it's been in decades, and now let's go do the work of electing Hillary Clinton and stopping Donald Trump. To the Bernie or bust people, you're being ridiculous. The Bernie controversy almost overshadowed First Lady Michelle Obama's star turn as an advocate for children. And because of Hillary Clinton, my daughters and all our sons and daughters now take for granted that a woman can be President of the United States. Well, despite all the talk of unity, it's clear that Bernie Sanders has no intention of leaving the political stage. He got the two biggest applause lines tonight came when he told his delegates he expected them to vote for him tomorrow during the roll call vote, and then again when he said the revolution will continue. Reporting live in Philadelphia, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Marcia, thank you.